Right, I'm here with the legendary Willie D, and he's here at Hip Hop Hope Tuesdays. Um, tell us a little bit about why you came out tonight. Mm -hmm. I came out to support the movement, mm -hmm. the community movement, you know, getting involved, giving back you know, to the hood that gave me so much. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. I've been doing this for years and years and years. Uh, ever since I started making some money and people started telling me I had a little influence and a name, uh, I started using it to get back to the hood and try to draw the other other artists in and 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 other people in that wanted to do some good in the hood. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've talked before, and I know you've got a couple of other other things going on, even this month uh, that you're doing in the community wise. To tell, I guess on camera, I guess if you could for me what some of the other things that you're involved with. But one of the things that I have going on right now is I got a health fair, and. That health fair is, is called HEAP, and it stands for Health, Education, Awareness, and Prevention. And, it, you know, the, the way the whole thing came about is that I was I was doing this, this thing that I, I, I do call Bless the Mic. It's an artist showcase. We uh, allow artists to come in. We give them a platform to perform, show their talents, uh, showcase their talents, and, and, and put people in front of them that could possibly help them out, take them to the next level, industry inside of shot callers. And while I was working with this uh, church uh, in Houston called uh, Higher Dimension, I came to find out that they had an, an AIDS outreach program. And I was like, wow, we should do something together because I have a breast cancer foundation. And we should you know, put, put it together. And so that's the way the whole idea was hatched to do a health fair. Mm -hmm. And so the whole goal is, is to test as many people as possible for HIV, AIDS, uh, glaucoma, uh, hepatitis B, C, uh, diabetes. Uh, we doing uh, blood pressure uh, tests. I mean, everything you can think of health-wise, uh, we're doing it. And we got all kind of organizations that's coming out in support of it. You were also honored the, the other night too, and uh, does it seem strange to go to a, from a VH1 type of event to here in the Fifth Ward in a, a sweaty gym on a, a Tuesday night? No, it's natural. Mm -hmm. It's natural. That's the way of the world. That's how the world is built. The world is not, it's not all gutter, and it's, and, and it's not all, all glitz mm -hmm. and glamour. You know, that's the way my life is. You know, I can, I can easily be on the plane in one day and. In, in Venus somewhere, and you know, with my legs kicked up, you know, sipping on pineapples and stuff, <laughs> pineapple juice, and come right back to the hood and, 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 and be you know, sipping on some vodka vodka, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the hood with my brothers and it's a little, a little great with it, you know. So, uh, you know, that, that's the way. That's kind of the way I am with life, man. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't put myself on no level where I feel like I'm too good for. For uh, for people, you know, I'm I'm too good for certain situations, but I'm not too good to keep it with no people, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's from, you know, you know, that, that's from the gutter to the White House. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I know you kind of just recently started to hear more Christian rap and getting to know some of the rappers around town. I guess tell me a little bit about your opinion of, of that starting out, and maybe kind of what you learned and picked up from it. So well, one thing that I have learned about the Christian Christian uh, rappers is that. They're just as serious about their music as the mainstream uh, artists are. Mm -hmm. You know, they they real serious. I mean, you're from the album covers to the videos to you know, to, to their swag, everything. They're serious about it. And if you want to take your your gift to the next level, to a high level, you got to be serious about it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the that's the main thing that's that's impressive uh, you know, to, to to me about the Christian artists. You know. Mm -hmm. But but I, I would say this, you know, don't don't think just because you're, you're you're doing Christian rap that you should be limited financially. You know, I think that there's a, a huge market out there, and you know, Christian fans buy everything from cars to mobile phones to homes, and they buy music also, mm -hmm. and they'll buy your music if you market it right. Yeah. Cool. Any last words you want to give to, to people that are involved in Christian hip hop or anybody that might be watching this and involved and maybe needs a little spark to do a little bit more in the community and reach out? So. Well, all I got to say is that 
as, as far as community involvement, that's just that's just something that's real close to my heart, man. As I always have been, and, mm -hmm. and I've always said, I always tell people, even if you were the most selfish person in the world, you got to give back to the community because that that little kid that 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 you ignore and that you feel like you know that's not my problem, he gonna be your problem one day. You know, it's, and, and that that day may come soon, it may come later, it may come with him being at a at a party and being misguided and pulling out a gun and shooting in a crowd and, and killing one of your loved ones. You know, it may come when you're old and age and you're too old to fight back and somebody come through that window. That mm -hmm. might be that youngster. You know, so, you know, it's incumbent upon all of us to just give back, man, and try to help each other out. So I always, you know, I just look at it. I, I really do. I really do look at all of us like we family. You know, and it ain't got even, it don't even have nothing to do with race with me, man. You know, I ain't limited like that. You know, mm -hmm. I, cause, cause we, we all part of the human family. And, you know, so no matter what you think, uh, you know, your actions, the, the way we, the way we deal with each other, the way we handle each other, the way, the way we, you know, we, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, attack each other or support each other, or the way we, you know, disrespect each other. So it'll come back. It's gonna come back, whether it come back to me directly or not. But it'll come back on me, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just I just look at it like, you know, hey man, each one, each one, teach one, look out for each other, and, and that's what it is.